Welcome to Wild of the World and you're still joining us in Indonesia as we hop from island to island and started on Java. From there we took a plane to Bali and saw some other islands around like Flores, Komodo and the Nusas. But all of them might not be as relaxed as these islands because these are the Gilis. So we've been hanging out here for a while. From Bali we visited Nusa, Lembongan and Penida. And after the world wonder Komodo in about 3 hours we sailed to the Gilis. Sometimes the Gilis are incorrectly called the Gili Islands. That's because Gili already means little island and Lombok has about 30 of them. Most of them are still unknown to the tourists, but the most famous three are between Bali and Lombok. It took us about two hours to get here, and these are Gili Travagan, Gili Meno and Gili Air. We stay on the main island and that's Gili Travangan. Our hotel is within walking distance of the pier. Most of the hotels on Gili Travagan are near the beach, but they are a little bit more expensive than we're used to on our world trip and especially in Indonesia. So we found one about 100 meters from the beach in a side road and this will cost you a lot less, about 25 bucks for a super nice cabin with a pool. The Gilis used to be uninhabited way back in the past and the people came here about 200 years ago uh, from Lombok to start a society as fishermen because the waters here are full of fish. It's only until the 80s that the first tourists came here and it became a hidden gem to go to from Bali. Uh, nowadays there are a lot of restaurants, bars, but what remains is that there are still no motorized vehicles on the island which makes it nice and quiet. With the drone I see how pure and serene the beaches are. In fact there's barely anyone on the beach but me. Earlier on I told you that this island has no motorized vehicles, so it's extra fun to rent a bike and go around the island, which is about 4 miles, so we have the day, let's go! Renting a bike here is super cheap, it'll cost you about 3 bucks a day. During our trip around Gili Travangan we see the beach everywhere and this is actually just one beach that goes around the entire island. The beaches have no names for that matter. But if you were to meet with your friends somewhere I would tell them a point of recognition because just sit somewhere and say hey we're on the beach, they're not gonna find it. almost at the end of our tour around the island and that over there is Lombok so this is a pretty good place to fly a little with the drone let's go at low tide we can really see how the gillies lie on top of the coral and in the back you can also see how close the other gillies are
How funny is this guys, the best place on the island to spot sea turtles is at Wa Resort. And Wa, that's my initials, Wouter, Adi Hendrikus. It's meant to be. I've seen sea turtles before, but never so easily and so many as today. At low tide they almost come onto the beach to take a look. It's getting harder and harder not to recommend this place because after the lunch I saw four turtles and Zeus even saw seven. So now we're swimming in their swimming pool and they offered us to uh, take a dive here. When the sun goes down, the Gilis are the perfect place to dine on the beach. Under a sky full of stars, you already have a main course for about 5 bucks. Good morning guys, we're still on Gili Trawagan and it's a perfect day in paradise again. But today we're gonna visit the other two islands, Meno and Air, and do some snorkeling on a trip. And I've seen on the way that there's plenty to see in the waters, and we're gonna see some amazing wonders of nature. At a local tour company we sign up for 5 hours of sailing around the Gillies. This trip, including the snorkeling gear, only costs 10 bucks a person. The first place that we stop is at a shipwreck to do some snorkeling. And I actually never saw one before snorkeling, so it should be fun. We found Gili Meno to be the most unspoiled of the three, and that's the reason that many of the best snorkeling spots can be found here. The next stop is a very special one, because they place some statues here underwater for the coral to grow on, so it can like, create some new life. And the statues themselves are kind of spooky and famous. Time for our third and last stop for snorkeling today. This is Gilly Air and this is Turtle Point. So I guess you can already imagine what you can see on the water here. And it's not Ninja Turtles, unfortunately. Just sea turtles. Let's look for them. We see two types of turtles here. The green sea turtle and the hawksbill.
Wow guys, this snorkeling trip was incredible. We saw turtles, I think 20 or 30 of them, and Jens even saw a couple of them from the boat. Big ones, little ones, we saw a lot of coral, beautiful colors, tropical fish, and now we're on Gilly Air to have some lunch, and I'm gonna put up the drone to see if there's some difference between the islands. I think Gilly Air is a little bit more relaxed and less crowded. Gili Air is the furthest from Travangan and is therefore the most remote. But you can still reach this slice of paradise in half an hour. That's it guys for this episode. I have one last morning to go snorkeling and I'm gonna grab my chance to see the underwater world one more time on the ghillies. And Susan Jens are still a bit sleepy in the room and I'm going to the beach. Let's go. After a game of ghillie golf, you'll see us in Bali next week. And after that, we take you to Vietnam. Subscribe and join me on the adventure.